What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to be doing the cheap back to school art supply challenge. Instead of creating an artwork with markers, colored pencils, basically professional art supplies, I'm going to be using uh, cheap art supplies, you know, stuff that's on sale at the store, you know, back to school stuff like crayons, cheap colored pencils, you know, stuff like that. Crayola products, you know, I'll use that. And then some cheap dollar store products like some ballpoint pens. But first, I'm going to show you what I'm going to use for the drawing. So for starters, I got some blue ballpoint pens, a cheap sketchbook, the Crayola 96 set of crayons, the 32 set of skin tones, and some Crayola colored pencils. So these are the supplies I'm going to use in today's video. And without further ado, let's get started. Honestly, this sketchbook did better than I had expected. It's surprisingly smooth for a cheap sketchbook. The front of the sketchbook wasn't so misleading because it said it were ideal for illustrations and final drawings. That's what it said on the front. And with, with most cheap materials, uh, usually what they say on cheap materials could be misleading, but surprisingly, it actually did what it had to do. I was able to sketch and erase without damaging the paper. You know, do all the stuff I can do with uh, my illustration paper. Honestly, I think this could be my new illustration paper because it acts just like it. in the building, nigga. in the building, nigga. Now that the inks are done, it's time for me to color. But before I do that, let's make a color swatch chart for these crayons and colored pencils.
I don't know if I said this in the beginning, but um, the 96 set doesn't have a big selection of flesh tones or browns since those are the colors I use the most. So as a guy who draws characters and does character designs, I'm gonna need a big selection of flesh tones. And with this 96 set of crayons, it doesn't really have a big selection of that. So I'm really glad I got this skin tone set, especially for shading brown, because on this 96 set that you see here, there's not a big selection of uh, shades for browns or browns themselves. Besides, my illustration will have a whole bunch of browns, so I'm just so glad I got the skin tone set. Even though I could shade most of these browns with black, uh, just try not to do that. When it came down to the coloring, it was I was really excited for coloring it. My only complaint with crayons is that they're not the best for layering at all. I mean, they're good at blending. They're, they're all right with blending, but not layering. Let's say you have one layer of marker, and you add another layer on top of that uh, marker, no problem at all. With crayon, you add one layer of crayon, and to get that first shade that you want, you have to go in with like three or four different layers just to get that first shade that you want, which is not what I'm trying to go for at all. And I would have thought it was the paper, but it really isn't because the paper is smooth enough to apply crayon with no problem, but I think it's just the crayons, but that's what I personally don't like about uh, the crayon. It's just that they're just terrible at layering. And since I'm an illustrator, I use layering almost all the time when coloring almost anything. That was a problem to me, but I was able to manage. in the building Nick. So this is the final drawing. The only thing I don't like about it is that is that because there's a whole bunch of white spots just about everywhere. And when you're using alcohol-based markers or professional art supplies, you don't really see a lot a lot of white spots on the page because alcohol-based markers, they're like really vibrant. And when you do when you do an illustration with crayons, there's a whole bunch of white spots everywhere. So when you take a glance at it, it kind of looks like all the colors that you use are pale, which I really don't like. I don't, I don't really like pale colors. I don't use pale colors like that anyway. Other than that, I really like the drawing and how it came out. If you guys do like the drawing and my video, give it a like and a comment. And subscribe to my channel for more videos every week. And I'll see you in my next one. I got my nigga like Pat Kate.